Hello all, welcome back. This is Cristobal Diana from Trinity Software. In this video, let us see how to detect color from an image using Python. For humans, this is an extremely easy task, but for computers, it is not as simple as it seems to be. So in this color detection tutorial, we will create an application to get the name of the color by simply clicking on the image. We will see a demo first. If I click on this particular part of the image, it denotes a color name and then RGB values. Okay, let us see the basics of this color detection. Red, green and blue are the three primary colors that make up any color available. So each color value in a computer is defined as the number between 0 and 255. Okay, so if we see for white the RGB values are 255, 255 and 255. For black it is 000. And similarly for each and every color it is combination of values of RGB from 0 to 255. So there are approximately 16.8 million different colors that is by multiplying 256 into 256 into 256. So in this tutorial we will be using a data set that contains RGB values with their corresponding names. So I am using colors.csv file which includes 865 color names. Color names along with their hex values and RGB values. Okay, so let's start with our project. Initially, we need to install OpenCV Python, NumPy and Pandas. You can install this from the command prompt by using pip install OpenCV-Python NumPy Pandas. After this, import CV2 and import Pandas as PD. Okay, the first step is we have to read an image from the user using the imread method. I am reading it and then storing it in a variable called image equal to cv2.imread. Here you can pass the image path. This color detection.py file is in d colon color detection folder. So if you see here the color detection folder contains some images. I am making use of color underscore flowers dot jpeg image. If you are using image from the same folder you need not give the path. So color underscore flowers dot jpeg image after this we have to read the csv file with pandas read underscore csv function is used to read the csv file and it will load it into pandas data frame i have created an index list actually i have assigned each column in the csv file with the name for easy accessing so first column name is color second column is color name then hex rgb it is stored as an index list now, when you are reading the CSV file using read underscore CSV, the first argument is the file name itself and it's an optional argument, names equal to index. Okay. After this, setting a variable called clicked. Whenever the user click on the image, it is going to show up the color. So initially, I am setting it this as false boolean value. The next step is we have to set up an interactive window and a mouse callback event on that window. So this is the one. I am creating the interactive window using named window method. Color detection is the name of the window. So here the input image can be displayed and set mouse callback function will be called whenever a mouse event happens. So in this case whenever I double clicked on the image this uh, function should be called. So the next step is we need to implement this draw underscore function. So this color detection is the name of the window. So let me define the function here def draw underscore function it's going to take five arguments here the first argument is the event which took place that is left mouse button pressed twice and the x and y are the coordinates of the event and then the flags argument it is any relevant flags which will be passed by open cv and param is any extra parameters supplied by open cv here we are checking a condition if event equal to cv2 dot event underscore l button dbl stands for double click so if double click event has occurred change the clicked variable value as true and then from the image x and y coordinates we are retrieving the rgb values in cv2 the color is represented in the form of bgr so with y and x coordinates in the image we are retrieving the bgr color here so this bgr will be of type numpy.uint8 that is unsigned integer type in order to perform the calculations later it must be converted into integer 
So I have converted b, g and r into integer using the int function and I stored it in the same variable. We will be accessing this clicked variable and RGB variables later. So we can declare these variables as global. Clicked RGB are all declared as global. So that it has a scope throughout the program. Okay, fine. So the next step is we have to display the color name on the window, right? So we'll be using an infinite while loop here. Okay, as we have seen in the demo, the user can double click on the image as many times as the user wishes. And it can come out of this program when the user presses the escape key. So first we have to show the image using cv2.im show function. Using this we will draw the image on the window. After this if clicked is true that is if clicked. If the user has clicked on image. So when the user double clicks the window we need to draw a rectangle using cv2.rectangle method and get the color name to draw the text on the window using cv2 dot put text function okay so first we'll use the cv2 dot rectangle to draw a rectangle the first argument is the image itself where the rectangle should be drawn and the second argument is the start point the x and y coordinates are represented in the form of a tuple and the end point again x and y coordinates represented in the form of a tuple and color represented in the form of bgr this is the color of the border line of the rectangle to be drawn and minus one represents the thickness so thickness of minus one pixel means that it will fill the rectangle by the specified color okay after this we are going to create a text string converts rgb values which we have retrieved here to the color name so text equal to I am going to convert this RGB values to color name. Let us uh, call a function here. We will define it soon. Get color R, G, B. As we have seen in the demo, the color name is represented and then within the bracket, we have also mentioned RGB values. Concatenating the strings, so converted that into string using str function. Fine. I am going to define this get color method now. So df get color and we are passing r g b values okay so we are calculating the minimum distance from all colors and get the most matching color okay initially i am setting minimum distance equal to thousand and then you are iterating over all the rows of that csv file for i in range of len of csv within this we are going to apply this formula Calculating the distance d is equal to absolute of red minus ith red color plus absolute of green minus ith green color plus absolute of blue minus ith blue color. So this formula is implemented here. So the csv dot loc of i comma r will extract r value from the ith row. This will extract g value from the ith row and this will extract b value from the ith row. And the use of this absolute function is if this result is a negative value, the absolute function will convert that into a positive one. Summing up all these together, we get d. And then we compare this d with the minimum distance. In case if d is less than minimum distance, we are just swapping the minimum distance equal to d. Okay. If you have obtained the minimum distance, csv.loc. For the i throw, the corresponding color name is retrieved in a variable called cname. And this C name is written to the place from where it has been called. We have got the text. Now we need to write this text into the image using cv2 dot put text method. The first argument is the image where the text should be drawn. And the second argument is the text. And the third argument is the org. That is the coordinates of the bottom left corner of the text string in the image. So that is represented in the form of a tuple x comma y. And this argument is the font. So font can be any number from 0 to 7 or 16. To know the font types, you can go to this open CV drawing functions. This link, they have mentioned the corresponding fonts from 0 to 7. And font italic means you need to give 16. So here I have used the she complex font type. And the next one, this point 0.8 is actually the font scale. The factor that is multiplied by the font specific base size. And this is the color of the text string to be drawn. This represents a white color to write the text in white color. So this is in the form of BGR. We pass it as a tuple. Thickness is the thickness of the line in pixel. It is an optional I have given to. 
by default the thickness is 1 and another argument called a line type is also present so if you are not mentioning the line type the default line type will be line 8 for other line types you can use any one of this line type ok fine this uh, text is written in white color in case if the color which we have detected is a light color then the text must be written in black color right see this for the light colors the summation of R G B will be greater than or equal to 500 so i am giving that condition and writing the text in black color so that's the condition i have given here if r plus d plus b is greater than or equal to 500 then the cv2 dot put text the same arguments are passed instead of white color the text is written in black color here so once we have detected the color let's uh, set clicked value as false again okay then to come out of the loop if cv2 dot weight key of 1 equal to 27 27 is the ascii value of escape key so in that case it can come out of the loop so this function weight key waits for the milliseconds mentioned in the argument actually it will not wait exactly the delay mentioned it will wait at least one millisecond okay and finally after coming out of the loop we need to close all the windows using cv2 dot destroy all windows that's it let's save this I execute it now you can click anywhere color is mentioned detected so here the color name goes out of the rectangle in that case you can change the coordinates of the rectangle to make it wider so instead of giving 600 here let me give 700 So now it's fine. I am pressing the escape key now to come out of the loop. Leaves a different image. Balloons. JPEG. We are getting colors here. Okay. So that's it about color detection from an image using Python. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, kindly share and subscribe.